One of the main trump cards of the Russian army in the Ukrainian war is the advantage of the aggressor in the number of air attack weapons, aircraft, missiles, long-range drones. The latter create perhaps the most trouble. Ukraine is currently developing several new means of counteracting drones in order to neutralize the advantage of the Russians' rights build. Ukraine's main problem with the Shaheds and other enemy drones is that there are too many of them to waste precious air defense missiles on, so a much cheaper alternative is needed. Ukraine is currently working on three fronts. Interceptor quadcopters. This innovation has already been implemented and has been successfully operating for some time. Small drones have been modified so that they can be used not for reconnaissance or attacking ground targets, but for air combat. According to BUILD, Ukrainian interceptor drones ram about 50 Russian reconnaissance drones and even larger kamikaze Landsat drones every week. Wing-type interceptor drones The problem with small quadcopters is that they can only fly a few kilometers, especially at high altitudes, so Russian reconnaissance drones can easily evade them. So Ukraine is now developing fixed-wing interceptor drones that can follow a Russian drone up to 60 kilometers and at an altitude of up to 4 kilometers. Drones of this type are already undergoing testing and should be in service with the troops by the end of this year. Long-range killer drones. Ukraine's big goal is to create drone killers that can intercept and destroy the Russian-Iranian long-range Shahed stroke Geran drones. For such interceptors to be effective, they would need to be at least 200 kilometers an hour and have a long range at least 200, preferably 500 kilometers. And they would need to be inexpensive. According to BUILD, Ukraine hopes to create a third type of interceptor drone no later than 2025. Recall the Ukrainian armed forces have recently begun to actively use flamethrower drones on the front lines, which have already been nicknamed dragons on the internet. A series of videos published on social networks show how low-flying drones drop streams of fire, in fact, molten metal, on Russian positions in forest plantations. It is reported that the Air Force began testing Ukrainian analogues of the Russian cabs, guided aerial bombs that can fly long distances, eliminating the need for pilots to fly close to enemy positions. Yo. Sure. 